It's Violin Girl. I've been away for a few weeks because I've been searching the far distant lands, searching high and low for the perfect violin sidekick. And I would like to introduce you to Bow Boy. Hi. I mean, hello. Welcome. Hey. All right. So, Bow Boy, how how are we gonna take good care of our bows? Can you tell me? Because, I mean, no violin is a superpower if you can't take care of the bow, right? You pet it, you feed it, you rock it to sleep, you... Oh, my goodness, what did I hire you for? Okay, so, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take it out of the case, all right? So, how do you think I'm going to do that? You ask it nicely. Oh, no, 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 boy. No, okay. No. Okay, let me show you, all right? You're going to... Unlock your little lock right there. You're gonna grab your bow by the frog by the and frog. make sure that the bow hairs don't get stuck in your lock as you take it out very carefully. Okay? okay? You pet it? No! Okay. Never touch the bow hairs! It's, you know do you know what those are made out of? It's made out of horse hair, so you can pet okay. it. No, not that kind of horse. Not that kind of horse. You can't pet this horse, okay? He's dead. Yeah. Yeah. So don't touch the bow hairs, okay? okay. Ever. Never. I Never. got it. I All right. Prepared. You're going to hold it by the frog. Ribbit. Okay. We're going to tighten up our bow. Which way do I turn to tighten it? Righty tighty. Good job. Righty tighty. Right. You get, you're, you're getting the hang of this here. I got it. I'm, I'm okay. Boy. So, how much am I going to tighten my bow? Um, until it pops. <gasps> no, 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 no. Don't tighten it until. Stop when it's as big as a pencil in the middle. A normal sized pencil. Skinny, like a bow. That's right. Like bow boy. Just like bow boy. Like exactly. Bow boy. So you never want to tighten it too much where it looks like that in the middle. Not fat. Don't make it fat. Make okay? It skinny. Keep it skinny. Alright? You it. should see your bow hairs come together where they're no longer hanging down anymore like they're loose. Alright? Yeah. So we've tightened our bow, we've yeah. taken it out of the case. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to rosin our bow. Rosin. 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 It's pretty. It's, yeah. It sure is. You're just going to rub it on the bow here, just like this. And now if you have a brand new bow and a brand new rosin, you're going to have to do some extra rosining. So get those muscles ready. Got them. All right. There we go. So you're going to rosin up your bow every time before you play. And then when you're finished practicing. When you're done. What are we going to do? When we're finished with our bow, we're going to uh, wave it like a wand. No. Try again. We're going to uh, throw it like a spear. <gasps> no. We're, we're gonna, going to. We're going to. Here, let me help you. Okay. Let me, let me help you. You're going to loosen your bow. Okay. Which way do I turn to loosen it? Lefty loosey. Lefty loosey. Very good. Okay. And then we're going to place it in our case carefully. We're going to put it by the tip first. The tip. The tip first, and we always put it on the bottom, okay? Because if we put it on the top, some of our violin cases, they don't quite fit our bows correctly on the top. Got okay, it. so we're going to put it on the bottom, and then lock it in place. Lock it. Lock it in. All right, guys, that concludes episode four. Next episode, we'll be learning about llamas. What do llamas have to do? What... What, what do llamas have to do with violins? I guess you'll have to watch episode 5 to find out. See y'all next time.